Hi, this is Lizzie Smiley with a how-to Facebook video. In this video, I'm going to show you how and why to highlight posts on your Facebook page. So on every post that you put out there, when you look in the upper right hand corner, there is a small little down arrow. And when you click it, a small menu appears. There are different options in this menu. You can delete the post, edit the post, hide it from your timeline. And there's also this feature called highlight post. Um, now, when you first look at this, it seems like it doesn't have a purpose, it, it, but it actually does. And that's what I want to make sure that I show you. So first of all, here's how you do it. If I wanted to highlight a post, for example, this blog post that I recently wrote, I could click that arrow and click highlight from this little menu. And this little blue ribbon would appear showing that the, the video had been highlighted. Well, when you scroll down, it doesn't immediately make sense that any videos are highlighted. See, this, this graphic here has been highlighted also. Um, it used to be on Facebook that as you scroll down on a Facebook page, all of these things on the left hand menu of the screen disappeared like they actually went up as you scroll down and so down here um, you would see highlighted foot posts would be bigger it would, that's how they were quote unquote highlighted that is no longer the case now what happens is facebook has switched up how much they're going to show on your page they have your recent posts which is everything here and it will show every post you've done for seven days seven days now after you've passed the seven day period it's going to take me a while because i have several posts um, every day that i make sure and do to keep my engagement up so as i scroll down i'm going to go seven days back and that's here we are now after seven days, it will show this very, very mildly on your page where you'll have an earlier in and then whatever year you're in. And over on the right hand side, it will say highlights and another small, tiny, tiny arrow. If I click that arrow, I can choose between highlights, like highlighted posts and all stories. So if I clicked the all stories, then everything I ever posted would appear. And you can do this on another page you're visiting as well if you're looking for a post. But otherwise, Facebook is automatically going to default to showing you only the highlighted posts. Now, either Facebook is going to choose what those highlighted posts are or you are. So when you highlight one of your own posts, what you're doing is telling Facebook, I want this to appear after seven days have passed in my highlighted post. Otherwise, Facebook is just going to push the ones that have the most engagement, the most likes, comments and shares and show that here in the earlier in 2015 posts. Um, unless someone chose all stories. So for example, if you had a promotional post that you still wanted to show on your page, or maybe a blog post that didn't get as much traction, but you still need it out there for marketing purposes, you want to highlight that post so it will appear in this option. Now as I scroll down, it will show me all the highlighted posts or the all stories if I pick that. So this is why you want to occasionally go and highlight some of your posts that might not have amazing engagement that you'd like to show up later on. I hope this was very helpful for you. A lot of people wonder what the heck the highlight tool is, or feature is, is for anymore. And this is it. So I hope this has been helpful and I will see you in the next